Today is my first day officially on my own. fresh mint and then passion tea i basically pack my lunch overnight um i have a sandwich and then some soup crap it's freezing it's 41 degrees if you're wondering what my playlist is i don't know if you can see it it's called when you need jesus <laughs> and this is usually what i listen to before work Good morning, what's up everyone? It is now December 30th and today is my first day officially on my own. I didn't expect it to be my first day on my own because I thought that I would be able to extend my um, preceptorship, but because there's so many people out with COVID, we're way too short. So essentially they told me um, your preceptor will be there on the days that you work, but um, you'll be responsible of patients, so. I'm okay with three. I think I can handle three because I've always been used to four. But if they push me to do four patients by myself, that's a little bit questionable. But right now it's about 7.30 in the morning. Um, my shift starts at eight and then it ends at 8.30. I'm just drinking my tea that I made earlier and just trying to relax for my shift. Um, hopefully today's a good day. Um, some days are always better than others, but I know a lot of days, a lot of people are just swamped right now. A lot of hospitals are oversaturated and constantly on diversion. And I know some of you are actually um, paramedics and we're commenting down below that you guys are like actually holding on in the hallways for hours, which is crazy because that's what used to always happen. Um, at my prior hospital, but that was more so because we never closed it. Fortunately, this hospital allows diversions, which is nice. Um, anyway, I hope today's a good day, and then I'm back tomorrow. And I don't ever change my scrubs anymore, so I don't come in too early, because it's just, it just takes so much time to get it out of the scrub X, and I don't think they ever even installed my badge, so I'm not even gonna bother. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna sit and enjoy my coffee for the next, or my coffee, my tea for the next few minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and maybe around like 7.45. Side note, does anyone else not wear their compression socks when they're on their way to work? I just, whenever I'm not actually working and I wear them, it just feels awful. They're just like super tight. Maybe I just like don't have the right type, but it just bothers me. I hate it when I feel that like, it's like that prior to me going in and actually walking around and everything. So I like to put mine on like literally right as I'm walking in. What's up everyone? I'm on my first break and I'm again with my tea. I feel like I'm like a drinker of tea now instead of coffee, which is nice. It's really loud here, so it's kind of hard to hear me, but I'm gonna try to get close so you don't have to hear that awful sound. Um, I like walked in and I had like an ICU and a DOU. The DOU didn't really look like a DOU though. Like every hospital has a different like reference of acuity she seemed like a tele patient to me so i was like oh whatever and then i had like a med surge patient so i was like oh whatever um but the icu was what concerned me but hopefully it goes okay i don't know how long it's gonna take for us to get him upstairs so fingers crossed it's pretty soon but i was like oh shit why do i have an icu and you but i was like they're pretty stable so i can't really complain <laughs> i'm so used to like this life man i don't even know it doesn't even phase me so here's my sandwich a bunch of waters i'm gonna eat this 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 yo what's up oh my god see what happens every day i'm ready to go home I was talking to Alex. I like got stopped by the lady because they have like COVID vaccines and they 
and you can actually get it 12 or 14 days after the positive test so I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna wait a little bit and then get the vaccine but we'll see there's so many available spots so I might get it soon we'll see I'm gonna go home I'll talk to you more about my day later anyway I wanted to close out this vlog and kind of talk about a few things today was my effort <clears throat> Oh my god today was my first official day by myself and i was actually like strangely calm about it i think it's because of the fact that coming from a hospital where they like essentially mandate you to do four patients at all times and then going down to a hospital that's three it's like so different um, when I first walked in, I had like an ICU DIU and then like um, probably some lady who was going to get discharged, so it didn't really matter. So basically an ICU and DIU. And like it didn't even like phase me. I was just like, oh, okay. It's just, I guess maybe I'm just so used to holding. I did do that thing where um, I was a nurse in the ICU for like four shifts and my preceptors or people I was paired with were letting me do basically everything so I guess that's why I'm like strangely calm when it comes to holding patients um I did hold a lot of patients like holy crap people are sitting here for like three days and it's insane um but it is moving a lot faster now than before before I would I remember I had one patient for the whole shift for 12 hours which is so annoying but it makes it easier on me because all I have to do is reassess them every two hours and give them their like vitamins and shit. But um, yeah, <sighs> the acuity of the COVID patients range like crazy. But I'm getting so used to the flow. Um, one of the things that I was telling my friends about um, at my old hospital, we used to wheel around. It was called a wow and you i forgot what it says something something on wheels um and you would wheel that to every single patient and you would have to scan via that computer like all the medications blah blah, blah. but it's so freaking nice here they have computers inside each room so you don't have to wheel your damn computer everywhere i remember when i first walked in i was like uh where's the wows and they're like, oh no, it's just a desk. Like, you sit and chart at the desk. I'm like, there's a desk. I'm like, I was like, wow. I guess I never thought of it. Like, we just didn't have enough space for people to, like, sit and chart. That's why we, like, stood in corners and charted. So, it's so nice. The thing is, they also don't have an EKG tech, which is kind of weird. Because I, I love my EKG techs, they usually tell me a lot and teach me a lot. So it kind of sucks that we don't have them there. And then my pharmacist, I miss my fucking pharmacist. But other than that, my first day wasn't as bad as it could have been. Um, and I'm thankful for all the help that I've gotten because everyone was really receptive to all the questions that I had. But I am going to get ready to go to sleep and move on to the next day. Um, I also picked up four hours on New Year's Day because it's double time, y'all anyway and there's also an incentive pay so if you haven't already followed me on my social media my at is jazzinners and i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'll see you in the next one